Hi, this For this tech set, I chose to focus on a book called Invincible Louisa by Cornelia Meeks. This book falls under the genre of biographies, and it focuses on the life of Louisa Alcott, the author of Little Women. I love this book not only because it serves as a great introduction to the biographical format, but also because it tells about the life of Louisa Alcott, how she grew up in Massachusetts, and her family's struggle for money caused her to begin writing. This led to immense success in her career, as she became one of the greatest female writers of the 19th century, and had many friendships with great author authors, such as Ralph Waldo Emerson. So I not only like this book, again, because it teaches about the genre of biography, but also because it tells some about women's immense influence on literature as well. My first lesson would take place in the content area of history. After reading this great depiction of Louisa Alcott, I would ask my students to practice writing in the biographical format. They would begin by exploring the different women on this interactive website that I found. So as you can see, the website is called Her Stories in History, and it provides many pictures from different women who have influenced history in different ways. So the students would simply have to click on one picture, and by doing this, they can explore different women through short biographies of some of their different accomplishments. I would then ask my students to choose one particular woman from this website and ask them to create a blogster about that woman, including her name, her picture, when she lived, and five additional facts about her. These blogsters would then be shared with the class for a lesson in women's history. For my artifact, I created a blogster about Louisa Alcott. So as you can see, it says at the top that Louisa May Alcott lived from November 1832 to March 1888. Some additional facts are that she was born in Pennsylvania, but grew up in Massachusetts. She was great friends with Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau. Her family struggled financially, so she began to write in order to help them. She is the author of the book Little Women and some call her one of the greatest female writers in the 19th century. For my second activity, I will move to the content area of writing. I would ask my students to expand their Globster project by writing a three-page biography on a woman. Before writing the paper, I would ask my students to use this writing guide website and complete the diagrams and outlines before beginning their paper. By doing this, they would be more than ready to write a strong and cohesive paper. So here's the website and it's called the Biography Maker. So it starts by giving certain steps for writing a biography and biography questions of import. import which is a list of questions for the students to choose while beginning their biography so that they can have specific topics or questions to focus on during their writing. Their next tab is called learning and it tells it gives the students many resources for learning about a person. This includes books, encyclopedia, encyclopedias, periodicals, the internet, and so on. Finally, a great trait of this website was the tab that says six traits of effective writing. These include ideas and content, organization, voice, word choice, sentence fluency, and conventions. And at the bottom, the student can see different ways for them to include these things in their writing. So I think this is a great website, and I think it would be great for giving my students extra guidance in writing these papers. 
This will also be an important assignment for practice in writing citations and providing accurate work cited pages for their research, especially that second tab that helps them find accurate and dependable resources to use in a paper like this would be great practice for research papers. Some other titles and genres that I chose are Number the Stars by Lois Lowry, Holes by Lewis Satcher, The Surrender Tree by Margarita Engel, and Crossover by Quain Alexander. Holes is another satirical fiction work, and I think it would be great to go back and work on this genre again since it was included earlier in my book critique when we focus on animal form. Since this is such a difficult genre for students to um, handle, I think it'd be great to have another book later to emphasize this genre and some of the particular aspects of it. And The Surrender Tree is a book of poetry that focuses on um, Cuba's independence for struggle for independence. And I thought this was a great book because instead of just studying the poetry of one specific person or a specific type of poetry, this is historical poetry in that it focuses on one specific aspect in, in history. And I think that's great for expanding our poetry unit. So again, this is Christine Rice, and this is my fifth book critique. Thank you.